Welcome back again to Tom's Garage again. Good morning, folks. It's gonna be a beautiful day. It's gonna be a hot day. All right, we got a five day forecast coming up. Let's get with it. Just kidding. <laughs> but today, today, all day. Wow. It's a Husqvarna Z248F. Husky Barney Zero turn in for an annual service. They don't have a whole lot of hours on this thing. It's just been a little while since he's changed the Earl. Kawasaki FR 651V. 651V. We're going to do an oil change, oil filter, spark plugs, air filter, fuel filter, the filter filter. We're going to give it a good greasing. All the tires are flat. Even the front ones. Sharpen the blades. Yep, 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 yep. That's what we're gonna do. For some reason they had this pulley cover taken off. We're gonna stick that back on for him. That can give it a good greasing. There's a reason for the greasing. I don't know why he scares a baseball. You ever carried a baseball when he's cutting grass? <laughs> He probably hit that baseball is what it is. I bet that thing, pow. All right, let's get with it. Let's get with it. Let's do it. What I like to do, while I have these zero turns on the table, Arians, Husqvarna, I like to peek under there and take a look at the brake. See the, see the little sprocket in the arm when the brakes are applied? Those things love to fall apart and break. Let's see if I can get all around here so we can see the other one. There it is, way back yonder. Yeah, it's intact. Hydro gear. Hydro gear transmission. Okay. Let's do it. On this one, I'm not going to use the vacuum. I'm going to actually take the drain out because I think it'll drain a little better, get a little bit more out of it. It's a little hose that comes and just ends right there. It's just kind of just kind of hanging out there. Just kind of hanging out right there. Right there. Pop that cap off of it. Yeah, we will. All right, let me let this thing run for a minute, boys. Right there next to that muffler, I'm gonna burn my arm trying to do that. Burn my arm. I gotta let it run long. I had it running this morning when I put it on the table. I got another. Let me show you this. Got another load for the old recycler. Just in the last couple of months, I have accumulated so much stuff. Look at all that. God, look at all that. All that's going to the recycler. He was going to come by yesterday and get it, but he got busy. He'll he'll come Saturday morning and pick up all that. Yeah, for some reason, the hour meter on this thing don't work. All right, let's get under there. And... Let me see what size wrenches those are. I think they're, see, they're 11 sixteenths. It is. Let me grab another 11 sixteenths. Uh -oh. Money already. All right. Stick my little wrench in there, grab one end of it, and grab the other end. Ooh, that looks tight. This is kind of a tutorial video. I thought I don't want to use my Mighty Vac, because not a lot of people have one. So this is how you do it. If you just done it regularly, loosen that up. Watch that muffler right there, boy. That thing's 
All right, we got her loose. Got it past the little O-ring. There it goes. Slowly dribbling. So what I'll do is reach up here and open the dipstick so let it suck some air. Yeah, that's gonna take a while to that's gonna take a while to drain, but that's alright. We ain't got nothing but time. Nothing but time. And we'll reach up here and pop the air filter off of it. Unscrew the little butterfly. Oh boy, what a mess. Woo wee. Her. Oh god, we gotta get this out of there. Let me slide the camera over. I'm gonna cut my hand over the intake. Just try to get rid of some of that dust in there. Whoa. blew it all over my computer and printer. All right, let's grab the new air filter. This kit I bought, I got the uh, 10W40 synthetic blend Kawasaki two uh, quarts and the new fuel filter. Where's that part number? I don't see a part number on there for it. Hmm. Let's dig it out of the box and see if it's written on it. Oh, there it is. 49019-0031. Fuel filter. Two, it come with two BPR 5ES Sparky plugs. Come with an oil filter, Kawasaki. Part number 49065-0721. Air filter is part number 11029-0031. And it come with a new 21 inch Murray MTD block. I'm just kidding, that come that's for another mower. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's get it up here and get that air filter on it. We got too much to do. And this one comes with the outer foam filter too, so that's good. Work it on there like that. And then tighten it down. Little butterfly. You ain't gotta get it crazy tight, just good and snug. Just like that. Oh, let's get these spark plugs out of here. Get these spark plugs. on these because that boot will kind of seal itself in that spark plug. It'll be real easy with it because you'll rip that little contactor out of the end of that plug wire. What I like to do is just kind of grab the boot and give it a twist on the plug just like that. Just give it a little pry. Gently. 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 Let me grab my actual tool design to do that. Pow. You can get these any auto parts store. Time to grab it, and twist and pull. There you go. Look in there, make sure it ain't hurt. Same thing on the other side. Let's go ahead and get this one out and get the new one in.
I'll tell you, they could have cut a little bit more off that. That makes my ratchet extension a little weird angle. This was actually a BPR4 ES. I wonder what the difference is between the five. I don't know. That's what it called for. It was a five. Strange. So that's what we'll do. It's a BPR5 ES. Five ES. Set it on 30,000. That's about 30,000. This kit right here come from <coughs> Cycle Max in Wilson, North Carolina. And it even comes with this little funnel, little plastic paper funnel. <laughs> Says use it only for a short time, less than five minutes. Could you imagine how soggy that thing's gonna get? But we're not gonna use that. Always running in there by your finger. I can imagine how slow that oil would be draining if we didn't warm this thing up first. It probably wouldn't even come out. Crush the crush sleeve and just fill it. Come to a stop. And I heard the click. Go to this side. Do the same thing. Do the same old thing. Just lightly grab it and give it a twist. Make sure the rubber boot ain't sealed itself to the spark plug. Reach over there and just give it kind of a pull. Don't squeeze it too hard because you won't get it to unhook. What the this is? These has got to be the original plugs, I bet you. Because they are stuck pretty good. There we go. Give it a little worky worky. Looking good. Well, this side's even worse. You can't get the extension. We can use an extension. It's all right. We still get it. It's got to be the longest spark plug in the world trying to unscrew it. What is this one? This one's also a 4 ES. Well, well. Thirty thousands. Yeah, that kit come from Wilson, North Carolina. They had to ship it all the way to New Jersey and then back to Atlanta. Imagine that. Some things just don't make no sense. You gotta contort yourself to be able to get a hold of it. Yeah, this mower is three years old. Let's see, that thing's been draining for probably, what, 15 minutes? I'm going to stop here pretty soon and eat some dinner. And I'll, I'll tell you at the end of the video how long it took to drain and quit dribbling. So we'll have a better idea next time how long it takes. <coughs> 
they don't give you a whole lot of spark plug wire. Barely enough to reach. <clears throat> okay. Let me lower the table a little bit and get a better eye, eyeball on that oil filter. And we can get to the fuel filter too. That oil filter is right there. And it's kind of opening in the frame down there. And it is going to probably, yep, yeah, it's going to drain right on top of that transmission. But I ain't going to let it do that. I'm going to pack that thing full of rags down there. We are, we are. Let's see, let's grab some rags. I only got a few of these left. I hate these things. We'll, we'll sacrifice these for the good. for the good of the cause. These are Walmart, by the way. It says Hyper Tough. And I didn't wipe them off last time I used them. Look at that. Ooh, I hate grabbing a tool when I forgot to wipe it off last time you used it. Okay, good. It wasn't, wasn't real tight. But what I'm going to do, what I'm going to do is get this thing off pretty fast. I don't want it to. It's a boy. I'm gonna set it inside this little bucket right here. Let it lay there and drain. Got all this oil off my hands. That's why I like using the Kawasaki brand oil filters. It's got that texture touch to it. Get a little sheen on there. I'm gonna give this thing a good cleaning too. What I do is I got that one gallon pump sprayer, half and half with uh, purple power and water. I'll just give it a mist and try to stay away from the air filter. Just kind of give it a good cleaning. Especially right in here where you know you spilled a little oil. It looks like I just tightened the crap out of that, but I didn't. I'll just give it a good snugging. Give me some snugging. Give me, give me some snugging. I shouldn't have used those towels, man. Things were not very absorbent at all. Nor at all. Because the last thing you want to do is service one of these and the customer call you back a couple days later. You know, there's a drip of here. That thing got a oil leak. So clean it really well. You changed my oil, now it's got oil leak. Ooh. Okay. Let's go over here and get this fuel filter. Lower the camera down a little bit. So y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, 
This one's actually got a fuel cutoff valve right there. It's like a bridge and stretch install right down there. That's pretty cool. I put one of those valves on my Toro zero turn, my little 36 volt behind it. I thought I'm gonna start cutting that fuel on and off. I'd get halfway out of the garage with it and it'd die because I forgot to turn the fuel on. And the next time I go to use it, I'll look and I didn't even cut it off, so I just took it back off. I couldn't get used to having it on there. I couldn't, I couldn't. Give it a twisty, break the seal, and give it a pull. I don't see no crud in it. that thing drain. Set it over here on the way. Grab the new one. All these filters have the arrow. From the tank to the engine. From the tank to the engine. Pop up some of that gas I spilled. When y'all work on somebody's tractor, do you always like to go through the little cubby holes and see what kind of person they are? Collects rocks, he likes baseballs. Well, he took a whack at that one. Yeah. Sometimes you'll find a crusty old pair of pliers or something in there. <laughs> like an auto mechanic. Thumbing through your glove box. You just shouldn't do that. All right, turn the fuel back on. It has been roughly 22 minutes and that oil is barely even dripping anymore. So I would say it's safe to assume it's empty. When something ain't dripping no more, because it's empty. If I turn that compressor on. I've got the worst habit of not turning this compressor on. Now it's on. Go around here. I don't know how well you can see that. Right there. Raise the camera. Right there. That's what we unscrewed. Got the little O-ring on there. That muffler's cooled off, so that's good. Let's get this bucket of oil out of the way before I end up dumping it over my head. Grab your 211 16 inches. Hold the one in the back and tighten the one in the front. Kind of sandwich them together and just kind of give it a good little snugging. Everybody needs a little snugging. All right, we'll lower it down and put some Earl in it. Yeah. Okay. Put the camera over there. Let me just check the oil, make sure it was empty all the way and make sure we didn't drain nothing else we weren't supposed to empty 
It should hold both them quarts. Let me hit pause real quick. I gotta get a drink of water. My goozle's getting dry. All right. It should hold both of those quarts. Both quarts are Earl. Ten W forty Kawasaki brand synthetic blend, and it's also got the zinc additive. It contains zinc. That's why you want to use good quality Earl, especially one the manufacturer recommends from the manufacturer. Don't pour it so fast you lose half of it. Because we got barely enough to do the job here. There's court one. Here comes court two. Isn't this just riveting? This is top quality YouTube entertainment right here, boy. Oh, they're just two quarts. Let it finish drippy, drippy. <clears throat> oh, really? I all that dust off. I went down a the dipstick. See where we're at. And we are just over full, which is good because we got to fill up that oil filter. We'll just sling it everywhere. Okay, let's fire it up and see if we got any leaks or anything like that. Get your flash light. Check the flashlight, Johnny. All right, let's see. So far, we have replaced the spark plugs, air filter, fuel filter, oil filter, oil. Uh, let's see, what else can we do? I know I need to adjust the tire pressure and all that tires. I'm gonna let that settle for just a second. The oil, and then we'll. Check his tire pressure, which there just really ain't none right now. Maximum inflation is 24 pounds. I'm going to put it right at about 15. See where we're at. Let a little bit out. Right at 15, that's good. I'm going to put about 20 in the front. Let's do this other back tire since we're on a back tire roll here. about flat too. Oh, he's got about 10 pounds and it just feels low. It looks low. I guess because it's a lower profile tire is the reason it looks low.
about 16 or 17 there. Did I say I was going to put 12 in it and ended up putting 15, or did I say I was going to put 15? You can't believe a word I say. You're a terrible person, don't you? Where's the little bowel steam? There it is. Yeah, that was barely got six or seven pounds in it. I mean, these are flat. I'll put right at about 20. 20. Ooh, that's 30. You gotta remember these little tires fill up quick. And the compressor just quit. That's why I got so much pressure. Right at 20. 20, 20, 20. Oh, let's see. I'm going to spin this tire around so we can get to that grease fitting right there. Okay, moving right along. We got one wheel left. We got one wheel left. Come around here. Same. Boy, it don't take long to pump that thing up too high. What does it say on the side wall here? Inflate to 42 pounds. Good lord. 42 pounds. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna put at least I'm gonna I'm gonna put 40 in it. All right, I ended up going with uh, 35 in the front, 15 in the back. The camera cut off because it got hot. All right, I'll show you where I... I always take and set these oil filters right there so they'll finish draining. Because when I'm doing something like this, a repair or a service or whatever, I always love to present the customer with what I did, the old parts. I was trained to do that years and years ago, and it just kind of stuck with me. Okay, let's grease this thing. Let's grease this little thing. Oh, let's check the let's check the oil. Since it's been sitting here for a few minutes, give it a little reach around. Then we'll check the oil. Perfectly full. All right. Bam! We got the grease gun hooked up. taking grease. I know what's got in it. Got some in it. I'm gonna grab my little pokey tool and a little spring loaded ball over here that. I'm gonna make sure it's not stuck. Never been greased before. I don't believe it's taking grease. As you can see, it's dry.
there it goes. You see it coming out the side over there. Fire hose untwisted here. All right. What breeze this one? This one might be stuck too, I guess. And that was almost a hundred pumps. I can tell it's going in because the little doohickey right there ain't getting stuck to it. I know it can't hold that much grease. This thing may well have never been greased before. Because I just put a brand new tube in this thing. A tube of grease. Last time I used it. Usually when it don't take the grease, you know, it'll lock up on that fitting. Well, I got it kinked. Oh, it ain't come out of the gun. Let me hit pause. I need to make sure I ain't got run out of grease again. Hang loose. All right, we got the grease gun working again. Bloop. I gotta get a new grease gun. This thing is old. Yep, coming out already. Coming out already. All right, let's get back around here. We'll grease the spindles on these on this deck. We got three spindles. Pop off that grease fitting. Oh god. What we'll have to do to get to that center spindle is take this off and flip it up. Well, that's easier said than done. Ooh, let me change hands. That one's getting tired already. We'll just slide this plate off and lay it over here somewhere. We'll lay it against Tony's tiller. Okay. What we gotta do is we gotta look under it. We gotta watch that. Right there on the top of the blade. See they're gonna come out there. We're under the pulley. Let me get a light. We're gonna get these blades off too and sharpen them. All right, let's get this thing greased. He's 
got a lot of pine straw string under. Let me get a second flashlight so I can peek in here. And make sure it ain't coming out from under the floor first. Replaced a lot of grease. It's finally, it's finally coming out. Right there on, right there. Okay, boy, this thing, I don't believe this tractor's ever been greased. Wow. Wow. I bought that grease fit in. This thing's gonna hold a whole tube of grease. Seems like. Well, he's got a shopping bag right around that middle blade. How many pumps is that? I'm not counting. Started squeezing out. I said I wasn't going to grease them anymore before I sharpened the blades because it gets grease all over the blades. But this one's not. It's coming out above the little coupler. I tell you what I did the other night. I had a. I set up late. Had a big old plate of chicken wings. A real late. I guess they didn't settle with me. And I had a dream that night that I was greasing one of these, and the grease was coming out the other spindle. Ooh, don't eat real late at night, people. It ain't good. It ain't good. Pumps. Let me look on the other side and make sure it ain't coming up. I just don't see it. Well, I can't see it because of that big old shopping bag. 
the AC a little bit. Well, keep on pumping. Keep on pumping. Change fingers, man. My hands get wore out. How much battery power we got left? Not much. There it goes. I just, I just felt the, I just felt it kind of shift. It's fixing to start coming out. There it goes. All right, it's coming out that time. Let me stick your camera under there, and I'll show you. Right there, started coming out. Look, pumped a whole bunch of dirt out of it before it done that. Woo! You like this angle better? <laughs> Woo! All right, we got the three blade spindles greased, the front wheels greased. Did we miss the? Oh, we got to get them to. Right there. stop right there that's about 12 good pumps I don't want it to blow this seal or this cap off because that's not really designed to come out I have I have done that before blew the seals out of it thinking it's supposed to start oozing out with it I'm gonna stop right there again oh god it's about 12 pumps in each steering spindle. Let's see, I believe that's all the grease fittings this thing has. Three blades, front wheels, front steering spindles. Well, I'm gonna be looking around for more anyway, because we're not finished. We are not finished. We still gotta sharpen the blades and give it a good cleaning. Give it a good cleaning. I'm gonna stop and go eat me a slice of pizza. Let this camera cool off, let it charge. And we'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Had pizza. <laughs> and grease, that's grease, that's pizza. <laughs> Let's go down under. No. Oh. I'm getting too old for this. Uh, I got the uh, parking brake set, block of wood back there, and I got the strap. And I got the strap set. Emergency strap set. That don't look too awful bad, really. I think I may do these by hand just to keep wearing out the RBG disc. I don't know. We'll decide that here in a minute. This is the one that's got that shopping bag wrapped up in it. Walmart. Now we go to the other side. Give me a minute while I try to get up. Mm. 
Time scroll string. Looks like that pattern on this one might be a little mushroom. It'll be alright. Alright, here we go. Ugh. Grease. I don't know how it got over there. Let's swap this thing down. Yeah. I tell you, I have grease. I have it in my hair. I have it in my pocket. I have it in my armpit and everywhere before it's over with. Yeah, I think we'll do them on the old RBG. If I had to take a lot off, I would I would do it with the uh, carbide blade hand grinder. I'd rather wear that out than my RBG disc. Yep, 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 yep. All right, I'm going to put you right here, guys and girls. Is that a good enough view? Y'all watch me do this. Y'all hang with. We'll be done in just a second. Fine edge here. Pretty fine edge. Ooh, it's still hot. I gotta hurry. All right. Now we gotta get up. Let me hit pause. I don't want y'all to see the struggle. Well, all right there, boys and girls. That is a service. Annual service on the Husqvarna Z248F. Same thing you guys down there is using. Huh. Change the oil, air filter, fuel filter, spark plugs. We did it all. We did it all. And we did it for the money. It was all the good stuff. Sharpen the blades, grease it. Well, thanks for watching another Tom video. Boys and girls, love y'all. I'm tired now. Y'all be good, and I will catch y'all on the next one, man. Love y'all.